Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial that looks at using Adobe Flash CS6 in order to create an animation. So what we're going to be looking at in this video is how to use the classic tween which we looked at in the last video but what we're going to be doing this time is we're going to be taking a logo, I'm going to use the orange logo again and we're going to look at how to rotate the shape using a tween and also how to have your image or your logo completely transparent at the beginning and by the end of the animation it will be fully present on your stage. So we're going to have a fade in effect with our logo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to insert my orange logo and as we had to do before I have to drop the zoom to 50% and I'm going to use the free transform tool which we've looked at in a previous video to resize the logo. Now if I hold the shift key and drag it down you can see there that it now fits on the stage. So I'm going to move that around using my selection tool I'm just going to put it somewhere in the middle in fact I'm going to zoom in I'm going to go to 200% and I'm going to use the alignment tool. So remember to have your align to stage selected and then we're going to distribute it to the center like that. So now it's in the middle, as we know, if I want this to be two seconds long, I need to insert now a keyframe in frame 48. So I press F6 and I've got my keyframe there. So obviously now we know that this image in, in frame one is exactly the same as it is in frame 48. So what I want to happen to get the actual fade in effect, I need to make sure, first of all, that I use the classic tween. So I'm going to create the classic tween like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image in frame one because this is what it's going to start off like in the animation so I'm going to go to properties and what I can do is I can change the color effect here so I can change the brightness um, and various other things but what I want to look at is the alpha so I'm going to do I'm going to drop it down to zero so that it's completely transparent so that by the end of the animation if I click on frame 48, it's going to be two seconds and it's going to gradually fade in. So if I press enter to play it, it fades in gradually. And obviously, the longer your animation is, the, the slower the effect will be of the transition. So it will be a lot more clearer. But we're just going to use two seconds for this example. So that's one thing I could do for that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert a new document. I'm going to choose Action Script 3. So I've got my stage there, I'll need to import, I'll tell you what I'll do actually, in keyframe one here, if I go into this document and in this keyframe where my logo is fully visible, I'll do control and C to copy it. And then if I go into my new document, I can actually control shift V and it's already there on the stage. And remember control shift V means that it, pastes it exactly in the position that you copied it from. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to frame 48. And remember, you can do this as long or as short as you want. I'm just using two seconds as a good example. So I press F6 to insert a new keyframe. And I'm going to create the classic tween. So I control and click or right click on, P on a PC. And I'm going to go to create classic tween. So now, at the beginning, I want in, in my first keyframe, I want this to be as it is there. In keyframe two, I want it to actually, well, the best way to do this is if we click somewhere on the, on the actual timeline where the tween takes place. If I click on properties, so I haven't got the shape selected here or the image. I've just got the tween selected. If I go to properties, we can change what actually happens during the tween. And what I'm going to do, if I, if you see down here under the tween in section, we've got rotate. Now what I can do is I can get it to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. And I'm going to choose clockwise for this example. And then I can choose, I can click and drag for how many times it will rotate within that two second tween. Or I can just click on there and type in two because I want it to rotate two times. So if I drag the playhead back to frame one and press enter, you can see that it rotates. 
Now, just to change that again, if I click on the tween, go to properties, and this time I'm going to make it rotate 10 times. So obviously, we know in that two seconds, if it has to rotate two, 10 times instead of two, it's going to do it a lot quicker. So I'll go back to the beginning, and I'll press enter. Like so. So that's how we can actually use a classic tween to rotate uh, an image. And remember, you could do this with, with anything, really. You could do this with text. So if I put some text in, and I will say, hello. I'm not going to change the prop. Well, I better change the properties because it's actually white at the moment. So I'll go into the properties, and I will change the color to black. So there we are. So I can do this again if I put, actually I'll put this on a new layer. So I'll do control and X to cut it. So it copies it and deletes it from this particular layer. And I'll insert a new layer at the bottom here. And I'll call this one orange logo so that I know exactly what I've got on each layer. And this one will be hello. Or you could call it text or whatever you want. So if I do control, if I click on frame one here and control shift V to paste it in place. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Keep everything selected. Properties and I'll change the size. So there we go. Then what I could do if I insert a new keyframe here and I'll create a classic tween. And what I can do then is I can do exactly the same with the text. So if I click somewhere in the tween and go to properties, I can then rotate the text. I'll do it counterclockwise this time, for an example, and I'll do it 45 times just to really get a fast animation. So there we go. That's how we do a rotation using text or images. And we're also going and we've also looked at how to fade an image in from transparent uh, using the alpha tool. So. Play around with those, try it for yourself, and hopefully you'll get a good result.